I get a lot of requests for people to fly over their town. I can't fly over every town, but I am going to try. One place I definitely wanted to fly over, uh, two neighboring cities. I live in Long Beach, and uh, I wanted to fly over uh, Compton and Watts. And uh, as long as I'm on the way over there, let's fly over the, uh, the stadium where the Galaxy plays. You may not know this about me, but you will learn I don't know anything about sports. I know the Galaxy plays soccer. That's the, the round ball. My ignorance with sports is substantial, but let's see what it looks like from above. It's a fine looking stadium. Okay, let's head over towards Compton. I'm going to pull up the uh, general frequency. So uh, we're going to fly over the Compton Airport. 2305, there we go. There, uh, this is an uncontrolled airport up here. Uh, but we're going to cross over that, and then we're going to go take a look at a few different things. But this is a pretty cool flight. Um, a gentleman reached out to me, uh, specifically asking if I could fly over Compton. Dude named Juan Garcia from Goat Mafia. Goat Mafia makes birria. Uh, that's like a like a delicious goat meat. And I am 100% on board with people who do like pop-ups and good food and just uh, try and feed people. And uh, I love that. So uh, Juan asked me if I could go fly around Compton and get some footage of the Compton Courthouse and Compton in general because they're I think making a documentary. And I was like, Yeah, Juan, I can do that. So Juan, this is me doing that. Gonna make a quick call here. Compton traffic, helicopter 285, three miles south, north transition, crossing midfield, 600, Compton. We're going to cross over the uh, Compton Airport, and we're going to take a right and go check out that courthouse. Back when I was first learning how to fly, that courthouse was one of the, uh, the visual aids that uh, was suggested to me for figuring out where the hell I was. Uh, when you first start flying, it's kind of hard to know where you are, but that courthouse stands up in a big way. So I always knew where Compton was, and that helped me on my uh, private pilot's license. All right, let's turn this way. We're going to go check out that courthouse. And we'll take a look at Compton. My other big point of reference for Compton, um, I mean, besides the obvious stuff, is... Uh, Blood, Blood So's Barbecue. They uh, they were my uh, regular when they were uh, located in Compton, so I come over to Compton, grab some Blood So's. It was awesome. They have another restaurant now, but uh, it's not nearly as close, so I don't get there as near, as often as I I'd like. All right, we're gonna fly right over the courthouse here. Maybe I'll make another pass and get a couple uh, extra shots for one. Cool. Helicopter 25 operating over Compton Courthouse, 600. Yeah, it's really nice to uh, come over and, and see how um, these different neighborhoods that, uh, that I, I'm somewhat familiar with look like from the air. over here just a little bit. So normally I wouldn't, uh, I don't want to go too much lower than this. This is uh, right about 500 feet, which is a very normal uh, altitude to fly if you're a helicopter. But I don't want to bother people, so just try to be mindful. All right, here's a shot. There we go. All right. There's your helicopter shots, Juan. Now, about that birria. Is 
Another spot that uh, Juan was hoping I could hit is uh, Dale's Donuts, uh, donut shop over on Atlantic, so I'm going to see if I can make my way over there. Oh, this looks interesting. Let's take a peek. Love the architecture. All right. Let's go check out Dale's. Feels like a donut. I like donuts. You know, sometimes when you're trying to find stuff on the ground, it's really, really hard. I, I think I found Dale's. It's the uh, the big, obvious donut shop. <laughs> donuts, uh, the, it's, it's a big donut. Like, I, I couldn't miss that if I wanted to. It's a lot like Randy's Donuts. That's another kind of iconic L.A. spot. There's Dale's. I hope they're doing okay with all the uh, quarantine measures. All right. I'm going to go up. And over, and follow the river. We're going to go north and go check out Watts. We're going to get LAX queued up. I'm going to talk to them. Uh, Watts is in LAX's airspace, so I need uh, to talk to them to make sure I can get in there. One, one, nine, eight. Okay. United 2773 heavy, LHR went 250 at 7, runway 25 left, clear to land. LAX heli, helicopter 9 or 285 operating over Compton. Uh, we'd like to operate over Watts and then uh, transition up to the Coliseum. And that helicopter transmit, give me the call sign, please, one more time. Yes, sir, Niner 285. Helicopter Niner 285, LA helicopter, thanks, LA altimeter, 29er, 89er, cleared through Bravo Airspace as requested, squawk 0207. Squawk 0207, uh, clear to the Bravo for 9025. I'm telling you, ATC, the uh, air traffic controllers are super cool. Thank you for accommodating me, uh, LAX controller. And we're going to see what we see along the way here, too. So we're going to uh, head over to Watts. Um, I haven't spent a ton of time on Watts, but uh, I have been there and very... Uh, 9285, radar contact, one zero miles east of LAX. Maintain VFR at or below 1,000 while in the Bravo. Uh, maintain at or below 1,000 in the Bravo, 9285. Plaza Mexico. Yeah, so we're just going to see some cool stuff uh, along the way. Uh, the reason why I've been to Watts a few times is to check out the Watts Towers. They are a, uh, a remarkable thing. But I'm sure there's, uh, there's plenty of other things to appreciate in Watts. And uh, if there's stuff I should check out in Watts that I haven't, tell me in the comments. Let me know uh, what I should check out in your neighborhood. Uh, same thing with Compton. If there's stuff that uh, I haven't seen, just throw out some suggestions. What's the cool stuff there? We're uh, flying over Watts here. And uh, you know what? I'm going to throw some fun facts at you. I wrote some stuff down. Yeah. So, uh, ah, you know what? Maybe I'll save those fun facts until uh, you actually see it. Do you guys know what the Watts Towers are? Yeah, a, a visual will be really helpful. In the meantime, let's, uh, let's check out the community here. Train running below us. Uh, 
1836 military advised, ready. I'm just going to do a little lap here. Police helicopter off the nose. Look up the 285, traffic mile east of you, northbound, type on 1000. We have that traffic inside, maintain visual separation, 285. United 2773 Heavy, cross from a 25 right by your Juliet, contact ground 121.75, is cross. Okay, so I'm going to share something with you. This is really weird, because I've been to the watchtowers uh, many times, but uh, I am not sure where they are. Super crazy, right? Like you think, oh, you know, you're flying around in a helicopter, it should be really obvious. So, uh, this, right now, it's kind of... 1836, thanks, RNF to Delray, with 2407, runway 24 left, let's pick up. It's kind of hazy, and it's a little bit hard to figure out where stuff is. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to come uh, a little bit to the west so I have a better vantage point. Kind of check out what, uh, what I need to check out. And the good news is that we're just flying around over the neighborhood and we can see all sorts of stuff while we're here. Although it is uh, baffling and uh, maddening that I can't find the thing I'm looking for. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so when you're at ground level, you can uh, see things that pop up, but up here, it's a lot harder to uh, to make that uh, that visual. Everything looks a little bit different from the uh, the top down. And the spot that I marked, I don't think is the spot, which is crazy. If I fail to find the one... 1836 contact, folks, out of front, have a good one. If I fail to find uh, Watch Towers, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, got it. Okay. <sighs> that's nice. Now, assuming that's actually it, not just some very tall trees. Oh, my God. If it's just some very tall trees. <laughs> And you know what would normally happen to is like if you, oh, okay, I, can, I am excused. Okay, so here's the thing. The watchtowers, it looks like they're being renovated. They're covered in like black tarps. So I literally, I just did not see them because they were not what I was expecting. We're gonna do a flyover real quick. And I say quick because the sun is setting and I have places to be. Watchtowers, there's like 17 structures. The tallest one is like just under 100 feet. It was made by this uh, Italian dude named uh, Simone. Or Simon. <laughs> I would call him Simone. That sounds more fan uh, fantastical. But uh, this guy just like, he spent 34 years building these things. And uh, they're just this iconic, wonderful thing. It's uh, like homemade structure, and yet they've survived earthquakes and stuff. And currently, they are all covered up so you can't see them. Sorry about that. I'm going to head north now uh, along the way. Let's just see what we see between, uh, between Watts and the Coliseum. And while I'm doing that, hey, thanks for all of the uh, support and all the kind messages. Uh, you guys are just the best. So if you have any requests of specific neighborhoods, uh, places I should see, leave them in the comment section. You can always hit me up on Instagram. Uh, actually, a lot of people reaching out to chat, but I'm doing my best to keep up with you guys. So thank you so much.